Gabriel Cardoso from the University of Lisbon. Robert de Malakoff from Hootsville University. Uh, Yang Kuihei from the London Institute for Mathematical Science. Suresh Nampuri from the University of Lisbon. And Laurus Torlasius from the University of Iceland. The program is a rather ambitious program. It brings together three completely disparate strands of research number theory, black holes, and then there is quantum information as well as machine learning. Now, quantum gravity is, of course, an extremely hard problem to solve. In fact, uh, it depends on whether you think it's solvable or not. But trying to understand quantum gravity involves understanding, for example, laboratory, Gedanken laboratories, which can give you certain specific attributes of quantum gravity, like black holes. So black holes are a very vigorous, dynamic subfield of research within quantum gravity, which are kind of a lens into quantum gravity. Now, it turns out that a very specific sector of black, kind of black holes, namely supersymmetric black holes or BPS black holes, um, are amenable to essentially us finding out more about them. They're kind of more transparent in a manner of speaking. And it turns out that the organization of states in the black hole, how information is organized in black hole, can best be described using number theory structures. This is very cool. And so for the past two decades, there has been an explosion of information from number theory essentially pouring into black hole physics, especially string theory, and allowing us to understand mathematical structures of quantum gravity. So we already have a very, very, very dense collaboration between number theory and black holes and people who do quantum gravity. But there is already another set of dense collaborations between number theorists and machine learning experts, because number theory is about finding patterns in numbers, and machines are rather good at stuff at finding patterns of numbers. So the idea was to bring these two interesting dynamic subfield collaborations into one room and then see whether the concepts and calculation toolkits of one could uh, kind of transfuse into the other and see what happens and see if you can make jazz. And perhaps I, I could add something to this, which is to um, recall that, that uh, research in quantum gravity, that, that solving the problem of quantum gravity is uh, central research endeavor in mathematical physics slash string theory. So we are talking about uh, a very important field uh, of research here. And uh, by looking at uh, questions related to black hole entropy, we are um, actually trying to, um, to make uh, precise advances uh, towards answering the question as to what quantum gravity is. I mean, in, in some sense, it really showcases the, um, uh, something about string theory. I think one of the greatest things and, and, and triumph of string theory, it is a field that unifies. It's a field that is, from the very beginning, combining mathematicians and physicists and all different thinkers and bringing them one. Right? Yeah. The theme is. So just to add, I think there, there have already been these conversations between these subfields, and there always have been. And this is an attempt at trying to formalize those conversations, if you wish, and trying to see if you put them in a one dense room in a program, whether you can spark new insights. Um, it's very uh, uh, timely that we're having this because AI is transforming every branch of Muslim, every branch of human endeavor, especially in the last five to ten years. And now uh, I think we're right in the era of AI-aided mathematical discovery. In the only in the last couple of years, so it's really happening right now. And also, uh, recently, there have been uh, important advances in the, in the field of number theory, uh, which are now being, um, w w which are very important um, from the point of view of black holes in string theory and also uh, for linking it up to machine learning. So, bringing together all these uh, exciting developments uh, makes this a very uh, fine moment. Um, Make, make, makes it to, to be the, the ideal moment uh, right for bringing it together. Yeah, uh, I think generally when there's been a generation now, I think of research in uh, quantum gravity, which has used information and concepts from number theory. And in fact, there has been some fallback where there have been some interesting number theoretic ideas that have sprung by people who have been looking at black holes. Black holes which start off by being a nice laboratory for testing theories of quantum gravity and have also become interesting templates to understand number theory. Now, but, these is, but still, at this point, so therefore, a lot of problems have been solved. We understand a lot about the structures and the more we understand, the more we understand that we don't understand certain things. And it gets to the point where now we can start making conjectures because we are at the limit of what we understand from number theory. We can start making conjectures. And 
here comes machine learning, which, as uh, Yang was saying, is also at the stage where it can start helping people make new conjectures. So it's not just a statement about saying, okay, here's some nice good pattern recognition. It can say, no, here's a direction maybe you want to think in. And so in a, you know, in a bottomless field, that would be a brilliant idea to make that happen. So it turns out just that this is the right moment in all three fields to kind of combine. Okay, well, one of the big challenges and one of the things that makes this program so exciting is that we're bringing together scientists from very different fields. That means we talk different languages, we think about problems in different ways. And one of the big things in our program is we're trying to build a bridge where we are and where they are, so that we can actually talk the same conversation and combine methods to come up with really new and novel results. Well, since we have on purpose at this program, we're bringing together rather disparate groups within our overall field, it is in fact very much our hope that this will lead to new collaborations and also novel collaborations in the sense that this would be collaborations where you bring, let's say, the tools of machine learning into areas of our subject where they have sort of not been seen, they have not seen use yet. And I think this can, yeah, this could lead to some very interesting cross-fertilization, um, at least within our area of, of, of science. Uh, now, is it going to lead to applications outside the, our field? Uh, that's harder to predict. Uh, this is not an area which is traditionally very application driven. This is pure science uh, where we are interested in fundam you know, answers to fundamental questions. But you should never say never. Um, and I think especially with this bringing in the connections to computer science, to data science, that is definitely uh, opens up new possibilities.